to today's lesson which is the lovely old Christmas carol in the bleak midwinter. Um, this was uh, a tune written by Gustav Holst at the turn of the 20th century and he put the music to the words of Christina Rossetti who uh, wrote it originally as a poem. It's a beautiful tune, a real favourite of mine and it works really nicely uh, on the concertina. I'm using this Jackie 30 button uh, concertina to play the tune and uh, we're in the key of C so we won't be playing any uh, notes on the top row or the bottom row at either side everything's in the middle on what you would call the white notes of the piano which makes it nice and easy um, we are going to be playing in 4-4 four, four, so 4 beats the bar we have a few AND counts which means there are notes off the beat uh, for instance in the first bar we have this one, two, and three, four, so the F there comes on the AND count of two, so not on beat two, but halfway between beats two and three. So it gives you, instead of going, which sounds very straight, doesn't it? You have this uh, kind of dotted feel, if you like, um, because the E, if you look at it, it occupies two cells, and so it takes up the whole of beat one and the half of beat two. The E in the world of musical notation would be a dotted crotchet. It would be a, a, a crotchet plus half as much again. Um, so then we have a D, C. Now the D is held for two beats, takes up two cells, and the low C, the middle C, is also held for two beats. Don't forget, uh, I call it low C because there are other Cs on that uh, side of the concertina, and low C happens to be middle C which is in line with the thumb strap, it's there. So let's just play that from the beginning again. Remember, nice and confident. Um, the more confident you are, the better tone you'll get. And if you make a mistake, well, you do. So what, you know, it's either right or wrong. If you hit a wrong note, I hit plenty of them that you don't hear because I, I don't put them out on the internet, but I do make lots of mistakes and edit them out. Don't worry about it, just really go for it. Is my, I've got my right hand side of my concertina on my top of my knee here. I'm pulling in and out on my left. I could just as easily do it the other way around. So let's go to um, the third bar. And the note is D. By the way, D, like the middle C on this side, the D should be in line with the middle of the thumb strap. So you can find it easily. And again, you've got that dotted feel. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Notice I'm going to be coming uh, back with the bellows or pushing inwards. So on the fourth bar there, we've got a nice subtle bit. We're going to go uh, like this. We've got the D on the right hand side, which takes up four cells. It takes up the whole of the bar. Uh, on beat two, we introduce a low A, which we hold just for one beat. Uh, on the left hand side, just open it up then. And then that's replaced by a low B on the right hand side, which is held for two Bs. So you've got those two little harmonies, and you're kind of suggesting a, a D minor to a G major chord there. Don't worry if you don't understand that, but if you do understand your chords, you'll probably understand what I'm talking about. So as soon as you start introducing another note with the main note, you're making a chord, albeit a two note chord. That's rather nice, rather subtle, and also use your bellows there for effect. Let it die away there, bit of expression, nice thing. Same as before now. 
Now, what we could do here is we could play it straight. And introduce that E halfway through that bar to give us a sort of a C major chord. But you probably noticed that I did this. I did a little mordant. So what is a mordant? Well, it's the note, in this case D, the note above, which is E, and the note, uh, the principal note, the D again. Played like that, and that little um, ornament kind of crushed in. So instead of going, we're going, just got to relax with it before you go to the next bit. So I'm probably coming in with my bellows when I do this. And as I say, introduce the E halfway through that bar. Now we've got the next part, which falls conveniently on the next page, it leads off with an F. Notice I've got two A's there. The first one I'm going to play staccato, then I'm just going to keep it nice and short. Nice little effect there, isn't it? On proper musical notation, that would have a little dot either under it or over it, not to the side of it, of course, that would change the actual value of the note. Uh, then we're going to run down. Now notice there, we play the B, that low B on the right hand side, it's held for four beats, so it takes up four cells. And on the uh, third beat of the bar, we introduce a, a little F, uh, and it's above the B, pitch-wise, it's on the same row, which is a little bit awkward, so I use finger one, it says different finger on the tablature, doesn't it? The F is kind of a, an upper harmony, the B is the main tune, okay? So we're going to play the B, and then put the F in, and we're introducing uh, a chord there, and we're sort of suggesting a G7 chord there. Please don't worry if you don't understand that. If you understand chords, you might understand what I'm saying. Well, how can you get a G chord, a G anything, there's not a G in it, but the G is kind of um, implicit. But it sounds quite nice. Again, if you can't do it, if you find it too hard, just play the B, just go um, like that. If you can put the F in, it sounds really nice. And that. Then it's the first bit again. And as I say, if you can, uh, play that little mordant there, uh, that little uh, ornament. If you can't, just play the D, don't worry about it. And you end by playing that C and E together before the E came in on beat three, didn't it? But here we're going to play the E and the C together on beat one. Now, if you look on the far right of the page, you've got the notes used in this tune, and they <coughs> are in ascending order, as I say. Naturally, that is a, a scale of A natural minor, uh, from an A to an A using the notes that you have in C. No sharps, notice, but the tune is most definitely in the key of C major, the way I play it. Uh, not written in that key originally, but it's just a nice key to play it on the concertina. So there we are in the bleak midwinter, a lovely uh, tune for Christmas and it's now September at the time of doing this video. So if you learn this now, uh, you'll have it ready for this coming Christmas. Hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video.